Yo, what's going on guys? It's your boy Kimbo here. It's time for an epic Bakugan Battle Planet Age of Arliss card pack opening number uh, six. Yeah, there we go. So we got six packs for this. You already know number six, six packs. Maybe we'll get some good luck with this. Who knows? Uh, but yeah, I got these packs here. Like I said, anybody who doesn't know, uh, you can find them at Mayor. Uh, not sure if they're still having the sale on them, but still, that's where you could find those packs. It was found, like, last year, so if you could find them there, definitely go and check it out. And I guess some people have been finding a little bit at, like, um, at, like, their local Targets and such. So you could always check your local Targets, but, yeah. Where I live, there's only a Walmart, and I have to get all my cards online, which is kind of unfortunate. Unless they manage to fix things with, uh, Walmart and such, you know. But, yeah. Anyways, um, got these six packs here. Uh, I told him to bend like a few of the packs, so yeah, I think this is the one of them. Yeah, there we go. That's the that's the one. This is the good luck one. So we're gonna have that one be last. But we're gonna start opening them up. Obviously, looking for the main thing I'm looking for is the Maximus Nilius Ultra Evo. Definitely got my eyes on that. Um, you know, definitely need that Evo because it's just so so sick. Um, but yeah and i'm honored to even have these packs man like literally waited so long for these and um you know they're like liquid gold you know they literally are because they're so rare at the moment you know hopefully they're it seems like they're trying to get them out because you know the distribution and such you know obviously hasn't been the best but they are trying to get them out and yeah and also we've got uh season two obviously underway people are finding like armored alliance stuff in a lot of places and uh if you haven't found any, go and check your local store. You never know. You might find some there. You might be surprised. And I say that to myself also because I have one Walmart, and I got to go and check and see if they got stuff. Because usually my Walmart's kind of uh, behind with things, but maybe they might find, might, might get some stuff there. Uh, but yeah, and Armored Elite is the card series for, well, the first one, the first card series for Armored Alliance, and hopefully that goes out soon. But yeah. My hope is that they put out, like, Age of Arliss big time with Armored Elite. Because, honestly, getting them both at the same time, I wouldn't be upset, you know. Because there are some good cards in Age of Arliss. It's just, like, you know, the fact that they're kind of hard to find, uh, you know, doesn't help things out. But there are some good cards for sure. Just, like, with the openings I've done so far, there are some good cards in here that switch things up big time. But, yeah. I'm mainly on the look out, like I said, for Maximus, Nilius, Ultra, and also the evolutions for uh, Goreen. For Arliss Goreen, because yeah, they I think it has some potential with those Evos. So yeah, all right. So starting things off, Mysterious Mist stops Arliss, Chaos, or Pyrus. Uh, Hyper Kaliana Ultra 707 lands on a fist 504, which that's pretty nice. Uh, Hyper Crack Ultra 804 lands on Helix plus 400. Uh, Titan Phaedrus 1107. Hyper Cubo, yo, sweet, 306, another Evo I needed. Uh, Magic Shield or Flame Fist plus 800, literally the king of Cubos. Uh, yeah, and got the Evo for it. Pretty awesome. Titan Gorthion, 809 with the Shadow Strike. Diamond Kelly on Ultra, 515. Hyper Phaedrus, 608. Play this, give it background plus 200. And if it has Arliss Power, give it plus 400 instead. Um, then we got Hyper Phaedrus Ultra. You can retract another open background, 605. Still not really understand the whole retract thing, like why it's really, really special. But yeah, somebody can let me know. Um, yeah, I'm still trying to understand it, but uh, Hollow Might of Darkness, plus 500 and plus 2, so that's pretty sick, dude. Looks good in Hex. Uh, Titan Trino, 1107. Titan Cubo, 908. You can reroll. Another Hyper Kellyon Ultra. Mysterious Mist got another one. Uh, yo, another Hyper Cubo Evo. Nice. Um, Hyper Crack Kellyos Ultra. Another Evo for that. Titan Scorpios, Underdog. Uh, you know, two energy with it. Hyper Phaedrus, got another one of those. Elemental Storm, yo, Arliss Power. Um, this costs two less to play, and you can draw five cards. Dang, dude, you draw five cards, and uh, it would cost six, you know, with Arliss Power. But still, look at that artwork for Hydranoid. That looks really, really sick, dude. And then we got Aqua's Breath, so plus 200, and then you can draw two cards. Um, then we got Instant Vortex, Arliss Power. Uh, you can draw a card, and plus 400. Um, Anchor Strike, minus 2. Titan Phaedrus Ultra, 1111. Darkest Blast for 1200. Hag Attack for plus 7 or Arliss Power. Choose a player to discard a card. Uh, Might of Darkness, uh, 502. Titan Zentar, 906. Underdog for minus 4 with it. Hyper Drago Ultra, 1004. Hyper Cloptor Ultra, nice, 804. When you play a Darkest or Ventus card, this gets plus 200. So literally, 
you play a bunch of like Aquas or Ventus cards in a turn, I think that means it gets plus 200 for each time that you play one. And that's pretty wild, dude. That's a pretty crazy build. So, I mean, that could build up Coaptor to be kind of a boss. Um, the Ventus Body Slam in a hollow, minus 900, turn 4. Or 4 cost. Hyperphagus, 806. Uh, Titan Zentar, 412. Titan Trino, 1107. Hyper Kellyon Ultra, I got another one. Another Crack Kellyos. Those two seem to be next to each other a lot. And Phaedrus as well. So, yeah, man. I uh, got A, opposing Bakugan, get minus one. Diamond Kellyon Ultra. Yo, Titan Pandox Ultra. 803. Treat all Bakugans attached to your other Bakugan as though they're attached to this. Dude, that's nuts. That is wild. Imagine you have, like, two cores. Somehow you get, like, a really good roll and you get two cores on the other Bakugan. That's four more cores you could add to this. And also whatever this has. Especially if they're magic shields. Dude, that could be a crazy build up for Pandox. Dang, that is that is pretty wild. And yo, Hyper Vice Rocks in the Hex. Uh, 606. Uh, land on a magic shield. Plus 4 in the Shadow Strike. So that's pretty dang sick. Uh, Hyper Phaedrus, 503. Lands on a Flame Fist. Plus 300. Um, Darkest Blast, another one of those. Hyper Gorthion, 808. Hack Attack, got another one of those. Another Might of Darkness. Um, Titan Vice Rocks Ultra, 904, 4 for the Frost Strike, uh, Diamond Kelly on Ultra, another one of those, another Hyper Phaedrus, Titan Tertonium Ultra, another one I needed that's sick, uh, 510, you have three or more heroes in play, it gets plus 1000 in turn 4, so for a hero deck, pretty dang good. Uh, yo, a Hex Titan Phaedrus Ultra, that's really, really sick, dude, looks really cool, love the Hex art. Ventus Web Whip, Arliss, Darkest Pyrus, all stopped, Lava Spray, plus 2, Arliss Power for plus 4. Uh, Raging Seas plus five, Arliss Power two less to play it. Uh, Read and Flame plus five, and uh, two cost. Yo, Titan Nobilius Ultra, uh, thousand and six lands on Magic Shield. Their Flame Fist plus five hundred. That's pretty nice. Uh, Guard Sphere, Arliss, Aquas, and Ventus all stopped. Uh, Diamond Kelly on Ultra five hundred fifteen. Another Hyper Phaedrus, uh, Hyper Vice Rocks eight hundred five. Three or more heroes. Um, plus 10, so that's pretty nice. And then, uh, we got Wipe Mind, minus 3, and then Arliss Power to discard a card. So, yeah, nothing overly, like, crazy, crazy with this, but still, got some Evos that I did not have, and that's always nice with the packs, you know, getting something that you don't have, especially Evos. Uh, got Wipe Mind, Titan Phaedrus Ultra, Hex, Titan Tritonium Ultra, Pandox, that might be one of the gems, I'd say, because, you know, didn't have that Evo at all. Ventus Body Slam, Hyper Claptor Ultra, another one I didn't have. Aqua's Breath, Elemental Storm didn't have that one, Might of Darkness Hex, and the Hyperphagers Ultra. So, yeah, overall, these ones were more mellow, but still, like, getting some pretty dang good cards with this man, and they all help. They definitely all help, especially, like, the Evos, getting Evos for some Bakugan, so I'm able to actually use those Bakugan in battle, because, you know, having Evos with Bakugan is honestly key. You could try to use them without Evos, and I know some certain Bakugan might not have Evos, but, uh, yeah, man, having the Evos is pretty nice. So, yeah, anyways, next card packing, uh, wow, card packing, card pack opening coming, uh, you know, really soon. We got seven next. But anyways, hope you guys enjoyed this epic Bakugan Battle Planet Age of Arliss card pack opening number six. If you did, be sure to slice that like button down below. Let me know how I did. If you're new to my channel, definitely be sure to subscribe for some epic content because I upload daily. And if you haven't already, be sure to ring that bell by my channel name to be notified whenever I upload a video. So yeah, guys, till next time, it is your boy, Kimbo, signing off. See you guys later. Thanks for watching. Until then, stay awesome, and Bakugan Brawl! I'm up out of here.